Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two characters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and leave your predictions down in the comment section below or in a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Knuckles, Guardian of the Master Emerald, and Ryu, the World Warrior. You could get your daily dose of iron with a sword, make your opponents eat lead with a gun, but these two don't need weapons of any kind. They'll just make you eat a knuckle sandwich with their bare fists. Now we're keeping these two characters at their roots. No Archie Knuckles, as that universe is clearly emphasized to be different from the main game canon. And no Azura's Wrath Ryu. It's so dumb how people try to use that for Ryu. He was a DLC guest appearance, even Project X Zone is more canon than that. I mean, he was an actual character there, not some DLC fluke. <clears throat> Anyways, with all that said, let's find out who will win in a battle to the death. This is Universes. This little red ball of fun was part of a lost race of echidnas. In fact, they were so lost that they weren't even there to raise him. Yup, Knuckles grew up by himself on Angel Island as the last remaining survivor of the Knuckles clan. And instead of looking for a little honey to save and restore his race, he decided to sit alone on a shrine day after day watching some boring big green rock. He made friends with nature and the little animals, sure, but you gotta admit, that guy had to have at least been a little bit bored. In fact, he was so bored that he jumped at the idea of change when someone by the name of Dr. Dr. Eggman showed up. Dr. Eggman fooled Knuckles into thinking an incoming blue hedgehog by the name of Sonic was his enemy. And while Knuckles was distracted, Dr. Eggman managed to steal the emerald right out from under Knuckles' nose. Despite their fighting though, Sonic decided to help Knuckles out and they teamed up to get the Master Emerald back into safe hands. Since that day, the two have been rivals, but mostly friends to bail each other out of trouble. And when it's Knuckles' turn to do the bailing, he'll do so with his wide arsenal of skills. I don't know much about echidna biology, but can they glide? It seems to come naturally to Knuckles as he soars across the sky like a flying squirrel. Also like a squirrel, Knuckles is able to climb up just about any surface thanks to those big poofy spiky gloves. These gloves are great for other things too, like digging for treasure and of course, punching. Yep, that's right, those giant fists aren't just for bedroom play. <laughs> Have fun with that mental image. But they're great for destroying swarms of Eggman's baddies. He can even find upgrades to pack an even harder punch. The shovel claw covers his gloves in metal and allows him to dig into any surface. The fighting gloves help him store more power in his punches so he can take down larger foes in fewer shots. And he even has a necklace that lets him breathe underwater. But despite this impressive arsenal, Knuckles does have a big flaw. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he's been fooled by Eggman on more than one occasion. Instead of letting his brain do the punching, he'll let his fists do the thinking. He'll charge forward, punching freely without any complex martial arts or style to go with it. But hey, it can't be all bad. Punching has still gotten Knuckles pretty far. He can shatter solid stones with his fists, he's able to one-shot most of Eggman's robots, and he even destroyed a receiver on the moon, the blast of which was visible from space and has been calculated to be around island level. Knuckles is slightly stronger than Sonic in his base form who has gotten so powerful that he was able to defeat the city-sized perfect chaos without having to transform. Previously, Sonic needed to go super to do this. But brawn isn't all that matters. In order for Knuckles to match Sonic in combat, he needs to at least be able to keep up with Sonic's casual speed which constantly breaks the sound barrier. And his own speeds are even higher. Knuckles can punch so fast that his fists catch on fire at hypersonic speeds. He's assisted Sonic on multiple occasions to defeat the nefarious Dr. Eggman, destroying robots and other bizarre enemies. He may have not had much time in the spotlight considering his recent appearances, but hopefully this episode is his time to shine. Let's take a look at his opponent, Ryu. <laughs>
Just like Knuckles, Ryu grew up a loner. He was left as an orphan without any knowledge or memories of his parents. Instead, he was taken in by Goken, a big old martial arts master. Goken trained both Ryu and Ken to fight using martial arts. The two would become rivals, sparring partners, and best friends until the age of 23 when Goken sent them out into the world to test their skills. Ryu left Goken's dojo in order to go fight in the World Warrior Tournament. However, in this tournament, Ryu was nearly defeated by Sagat, which forced him to awaken a deadly power that had been sleeping within him the entire time. The Satsui no Hado. Being overcome by this power led Ryu to uppercut a gigantic hole into Sagat's chest, winning the tournament in the most violent and bloody way possible. But after realizing what he had done, Ryu began to isolate himself in order to find peace and get this deadly power under control. Ryu was able to make it that far in the tournament in the first place as he was trained in the ways of the Ansatsuken, or Assassination Fist. With it came an iconic and devastating roster of flashy moves for Ryu to use. The first of these being a Hadouken, a fiery blue ball of ki that Ryu can throw at his opponent. The Shokunetsu Hadouken even changes it into a fireball. And the Shinku Hadouken is a gigantic ki blast that's nearly impossible to avoid. Aside from projectiles, Ryu also has the Shoryuken, a gigantic uppercut that can launch foes into the air. He can even stun his foes to land extra hard hits with the Shin Shoryuken. There's the Tatsumaki Sen Pukyaku, a spinning tornado kick that allows Ryu to glide across the air. The strengths of these moves increase in power and numbers once Ryu gives into the Satsui no Hado and becomes Evil Ryu. In this form, he can phase through attacks and perform the Raging Demon, a technique that destroys the victim's soul. However, Ryu doesn't enjoy giving into this evil power and prefers peace in the form of the power of nothingness. It protects his spirit and allows him to use the powerful Metsu Hadouken. Despite hating the Satsui no Hado though, he's still able to tap into its power without fully transforming. With it, he can create a barrier of aura around his body. This aura is so strong that it's able to block gunfire, but that's only when Ryu allows it to hit him, as he can casually dodge point-blank gunshots in his base form. He's able to fire and dodge Hadoukens which travel at hypersonic speeds and can create giant craters in the ground or even destroy buildings. Ryu's energy alone is so strong that Bison was once even able to use it to power a beam that could vaporize an entire city. But these mere cities aren't the limit to his power either. When becoming evil Ryu, his power grows so strong that he becomes comparable to Akuma who can split air's rock and sink islands with a punch. Ryu can take on all kinds of tough foes like Nakali, Akuma, and even his best friend Ken. He works hard, trains hard, and probably has a pretty healthy diet. I wonder if that diet includes a Knuckles sandwich though. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Hey guys, it's me, Wanty Five Nation Productions, and today I'm going to give my prediction for Leopold de Bray's universe is Knuckles vs. Ryu. Why I do respect both characters, and I actually am a fan of Street Fighter and Sonic, but based on facts, I have to go with Knuckles, and here's why. Well, I think Ryu has more skill and experience and rage than Rage based on the Hadouken, but Knuckles has all the other categories, and plus, his high perform survived in a universe explosion and all that stuff and I know Ryu has the power of nothingness but Ryu has never shown any universal feats like Knuckles such as in the Archie comics they both were in comics but Ryu has never shown power like that so again I have to go with Knuckles I can't wait to see the results and I hope I, I'm right because most people voted for Knuckles I voted for Knuckles but I'm actually happy that Ryu came back but even though he might lose again, I'll still be okay with it. Anyway, I'm out, and Asuna vs. Ruby, very smash will be coming soon. Okay, bye. Hey guys, Ironfly is back. And this time it's my second prediction video. This is, as you can see, Universes, Knuckles vs. Ryu. And who do I think will win? I think the winner is Knuckles. And there are some. There is a few reasons for this. One, Knuckles is Im immense strength advantage over Ryu. Sure, Ryu, sure, Ryu's Hadouken can like break skyscrapers and shit, but Knuckles, Knuckles in base form is strong enough to knock out. Is strong enough to knock out Supersonic, and this is pretty impressive since Supersonic has like one half of the uni one third of the universe power, which is like. A billion skyscrapers combined. Uh, 
I didn't do the maths, it's not worth it's not worth it, but Yeah, so that's one advantage Knuckles has. And another advantage another advantage another advantage Knuckles has is speed running over one hundred miles per hour. That 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 could really help Knuckles it Knuckles in this fight. Because he can just dash he can just dash around Ryu, Ryu and punch his punch his lights out. Also also Super forms, Hyper, Hyper Knuckles and Evil Ryu. Oh, Ryu, Ryu also has the power of nothingness, but yeah, Ryu having two super forms is cool and all, but Knuckles is what Knuckles has two. Knuckles is one super form. Hyper Knuckles out outclasses both of them combined. I mean, I mean he's probably. Uh, if I'm aware, Hyper forms are stronger than super forms, and Hyper. Hyper Knuckles, but no, hi, no, Super Sonic is like one half, it's like no, one third of the universe, and uh, hi, Knuckles in base form is strong enough to knock out Super Sonic, so this is why I believe the winner of this fight is Knuckles. Like if you agree, like if you disagree, share your opinions in the comments. Oh, and one message for Leopold the Brave. I do have some ideas for this. He shows that I have already researched. I, and if you see this, please, please leave your answer in the comments. If you if you could discuss these ideas with me, and if you do answer me, I will discuss what those ideas are with you. Thank you, and thank you, and have have a good one. Peace. And the results are in. The winner is. Ryu. Now hold it, listen to the reasoning first before placing judgment. Sheesh, you guys stressed me out when the loser of the fight had a landslide win in the polls. I mean, the reviews and the reception of the episodes are still mostly positive when that happens, but that doesn't make it any less stressful. Alright, so let's see how the World Warrior claimed victory. Let's start off with speed. Knuckles has supersonic movements with hypersonic reactions as he's able to keep up with a casual sonic and punch so fast that his fists ignite. And Ryu has supersonic movements and hypersonic reactions as he's able to dodge point-blank gunfire and can fire and avoid Hadoukens. This means that their speed is completely equal, leaving this up to a battle of brains versus brawn. Sadly for Knuckles, his brawn wasn't enough. Knuckles is regularly island level, giving him superior base strength, but Ryu has everything else, literally meaning everything else. Skill and intelligence, range, experience, and durability, which grows even higher as he can create barriers with the Satsui no Hado. Not to mention, when Ryu transforms into evil Ryu, his strength rises to match base Akuma, who can punch down islands. So while Knuckles may be stronger than base Ryu, evil Ryu is able to equal that strength, completely removing Knuckles' only advantage in this fight. And yes, I am aware that Knuckles does have transformations as well. But in order to use his transformations, Knuckles needs outside help by Sonic sharing chaos energy or prep time in order to find the emeralds. Two things that aren't allowed in versus debates. He can't just pull emeralds out of his butt like Sonic. Meanwhile, all of Ryu's transformations and powers can be done by himself at any time. And come on, when's the last time we've seen Hyper Knuckles anyways? It's clearly not part of his standard arsenal. Now you may want to ask me, would Knuckles win if Ryu wasn't allowed to use his transformations? And the answer is... no. Once again, strength is literally the only thing Knuckles would have since their speed is even. Plus, Ryu can still tap into the Satsui no Hado's powers without fully transforming, remember? Knuckles may be able to punch really hard, but Ryu is quick enough, skilled enough, and smart enough to know not to get hit in the first place. Knuckles' no-style Russian strategy plays right into Ryu's martial arts skills and intense focus. Ryu beats Knuckles for the exact same reason someone like Sonic beats Knuckles. Heck, even Sonic himself commented on how easy Knuckles was to read, so someone with Ryu's skill and intelligence would be able to do the same with no problem. Sorry Knuckles, you should've just stuck to your day job guarding the Emerald. The winner is... Ryu! Get ready for the next battle.